Kyle Busch lost the points lead after his troubles last week at Bristol, and the new points leader is Kevin Harvick, and this isn't the first time he's led the points this year, so he has, in fact, regained the points lead. In second is Bristol winner Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson third, a uh, two-time winner this year, Logano fourth, Kyle Busch Another two-time winner is all the way down in fifth. Martin Truex Jr. has finally gained a position from 11th to 10th place. And Matt Kenseth, after having his own troubles at Bristol, is all the way down from 12th last week to 18th place in the points this week. Coors Light, the official beer of NASCAR, is the proud sponsor of the Coors Light Pool Award, given to the fastest qualifier of each Sprint Cup race. Coors Light congratulates Kevin Harvick, who is starting first in today's race after qualifying was ringed out on Friday. So the field was set by speeds in opening practice, and Harvick was the fastest driver in that practice. It's his first poll of the season, and he's the latest Sprint Unlimited eligible driver for 2017. And now, here's how the starting grade turned out for the Toyota Owners 400 at Richmond. Joey Logano makes his fourth straight front row start. Next to Harvick, Logano won this race two years ago. Jimmy Johnson and Carl Edwards, the 2013 fall race winner, will start from row two. Denny Hamlin racing at his home track, and Brad Keselowski, the 2014 fall winner, will start from row three. Kurt Busch won this race last year, also won the fall 2005 race, and Casey King, who got his first cup win here in this race in 2005, are on row four. Kyle Busch and AJ Allmendinger will start from row 5. Busch has won this race four straight times from 2009 to 2012. Austin Dillon and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will line up from row 6. Matt Kenseth, a two-time Richmond winner, and Ryan Newman, a winner here in 2003, will start on row 7. Kyle Larson and three-time Richmond winner Dale Earnhardt Jr. will start from row 8. Trevor Bain and Tony Stewart, making his first start of the season, will start from row 9. Stewart got his first cup win here back in 1999. Greg Biffle and Brian Scott make up row 10. In row 11 are Danica Patrick and Martin Truex Jr. Chase Elliott, the winner of the Xfinity race here last fall, and Eric Amarola came close to winning the Cup race here last September, will start from row 12. Casey Mears and Paul Menard came close to winning here in 2013, will start in row 13. Jamie McMurray and Landon Castle, coming off a great run at Bristol, will start from row 14. In row 15 are Ryan Blaney and David Reagan. Josh Wise and Michael McDowell make up row 16. In row 17 are Chris Buescher and Regan Smith. Reed Sorensen and Matt D. Benedetto. After a career best 6th place finish at Bristol last week, we'll start in row 18. In row 19 are Ryan Ellis making his first Sprint Cup start of the season and Jeffrey Earnhardt. And rounding out the field are the two H. Scott drivers, Clint Boyer and Michael Annette. One driver failed to make the field for this race, and that was Cole Witt in the number 98 Premium Motorsports Machine. And now let's have a look at some of the race max. The weather is expected to be about 75 degrees and clear, 
40 drivers are starting this race, which is 400 miles over 300 laps around this three-quarter mile track. Fuel window is about 70 to 80 laps, and Kurt Busch won this race last year.